Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do my first old change on my new, to me, used 2016 Indian Scout 60. I bought this bike at the end of last riding season and have taken it out several times and with it being a cool rainy day today I figured it would be a good day for some bike maintenance. Now before I get started I picked up the Indian Scout oil change kit from my local dealer here recently. This kit provides the oil filter, multiple crush washers, and the appropriate amount of oil needed for my bike during this process. So according to the Indian Scout manual, the recommended oil change is 10,000 miles. As you can see, my bike is currently not at that mileage yet. However, as stated in the manual, replace at specified intervals or annually, which is a good time for me to do. So let's get started. There are two drain plugs located on the left side of the bike. Use a five millimeter hex key to break them loose. Just don't remove them yet. So they're located here and here. All right. Let's see, this one here, break loose. And then this one here, which I actually already did break loose this one earlier. All right, so now that I got the two drain plugs loose, let's put our oil pan under the bike and drain some of this old oil. Also, to be sure you have a shallow oil pan. As I found out earlier, my normal one that I typically use for my vehicles was too tall to fit under this bike. So I used a smaller one. So go ahead and remove those two uh, drain plugs and the oil start draining. I did notice when I did remove uh, one of the drain plugs that there wasn't a crush washer on it. Oh, actually, I take that back. It just fell off. We'll dig for those drain plugs here in a few. It's also recommended that when you do drain the oil in your bike that you have it in an upright center position. Since I don't have a motorcycle jack, um, then I recommend then uh, setting the bike up in an upright position and kind of rocking it back and forth to make sure you get that last bit of oil out. So now that the oil is completely drained, I went ahead and used this magnet to grab these two drain plugs that were, that were basically in this uh, oil pan. Um, I would recommend that having some type of screen or something to catch those uh, drain plugs when you take them out or you could just use a magnet like I did to, do, to grab them as well but as you can see uh, one of the uh, drain plugs has the crush washer on it and the other one does not. I believe earlier when I did remove that last drain plug uh, the crush washer eventually did fall out and it's probably in this pan as well. So here are the new ones. So go, we're going to go ahead and uh, put these new ones on and go ahead and put these drain plugs back on. So I went ahead and put the drain plugs back on. For right now, I only put them hand tight. Uh, next, we're going to take off the oil filter. Usually, after I take the oil filter off and drain the oil, I do like to take these drain plugs off uh, once more just to make sure any excessive oil drains out from there. The oil filter is located near the front of the bike, uh, as you can see right here. Uh, right there is your horn. Um, let's see if I can find something to take this oil filter off with. All right, folks, uh, I went ahead and got the oil filter off. Um, a word of advice is to make sure that you do have the appropriate wrench to fit this oil filter. Uh, I believe this is a uh, 64.7 millimeter uh, size for the oil wrench. Uh, I went ahead and picked up this uh, adjustable filter wrench. Um, According to it, it adjusts down from 63.5 millimeters up to 98 millimeters. Um, I can put a link in the description of the video about uh, where I found this, but uh, it seemed to work quite well. So uh, I went ahead and I was able to get, get this filter off. Um, so I went ahead and removed uh, the drain plugs again. Uh, I went ahead and let the old drain uh, from earlier. Um, just to let you know, I didn't tighten those up uh, earlier. Uh, I just wanted to let some extra oil come out uh, as if we had removed the uh, oil filter from the previous. It's here. 
So let's go ahead and put these old drain plugs back in and uh, go ahead and tighten them up. All right, folks, I went ahead and tightened up these two old drain plugs. Um, I'm going to say this. Uh, according to the manual, um, the old drain plug in the manual says that uh, these two old drain plugs need to be tightened up to 15 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I am going to personally not recommend going by what the manual says. Uh, simple the fact is, is that uh, most likely these uh, old drain plugs are going to be uh, saturated with oil. They're going to be wet. Um, and there's maybe a potential that you may end up over tighten um, these uh, old drain plugs, which you do not want to do. Um, if you do, you may be potential that you may strip out these uh, bolts. Um, so, you know, personally, um, I always kind of go with the method of kind of uh, uh, tighten it up until uh, it's snug and then just kind of, you know, just kind of tighten it a little bit more, not too much. Um, these do have crush washers. Uh, so these crushed washers will kind of seat in um, appropriately to kind of uh, keep any leaks from happening. Um, but uh, better to do that than to uh, over tighten these bolts, um, you know, or these uh, drain plugs uh, and then have uh, issues later down the road. Okay, let's go ahead and put this oil filter on. I went ahead and uh, put some oil around this uh, seal uh, before I'm going to put it up here on the... Uh, on the engine so now I'm going to try to do this with one hand while holding my phone this should be fun there we go it's on there and you know just kind of Get this tightened up until it gets tight and then you kind of want to turn it about a quarter of a way after it's tight or so. It's like that. Let's make sure that seal is in there nice and tight. There we go. I think we're good. Let's see. Oh yeah, perfect. All right. All right. So we got the uh, the oil filter on. We got our plugs both back in. New crush washers. So we're now ready to put some fresh oil in this bike. Okay, time to add some oil. Um, so, of course, the uh, the kit that I got came with four quarts of uh, 15W60 uh, oil uh, from the Indian dealership. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put three quarts in and then start the bike and then, uh, then check my oil levels and see um, uh, what my oil levels are. Um, most likely I will be using all four quarts, but there may still be some uh, oil in the bike, so I don't want to overfill it. Uh, so that last half quarter, so I'll kind of keep an eye on with that. So let's go ahead and get this started. Hopefully I don't make a mess. down let's 
go ahead and speed this process up. Okay, down to the to the last court. Got about a half quart there. So we'll go ahead and uh, put our uh, dipstick back in. Make a mess at the same time. Um, went ahead and started it earlier and uh, let it run for a little bit and check the oil levels and uh, they seem to be fine seem to be full as well uh, just want to make sure that uh, you know when you do drain the oil that you get it all out uh, and it is a pretty thick oil so um, it uh, may take a while to drain uh, but uh, other than that it sounds uh, like it's running well folks uh, that concludes uh, my first oil change on my 2016 uh, Indian Scout 60 I hope this video uh, helps uh, a few people that uh, do this for the first time like me um, if I did make any mistakes or anything or anyone has any advice to, uh, uh, please leave them in the comments uh, I really appreciate it uh, thank you uh, have a nice day